let's start with the basics. Um, so in this topic, we're going to talk about amputations and prosthetics. The definition of amputation and reasoning for it are on the vocabulary sheets in front of you. Um, in general, I will be referring to the ampu amputated body parts as limbs because that's what's most often removed and in this situation, used, and replaced. Um, amputations are needed when there is no other form of treatment available. This is because of infection, trauma, tumor, and many other reasons. In some cases, the limb was never actually amputated. Rather, the person was born with a limb missing or they were in a combat situation that led to the removal of the limb in a non-surgical manner. Infection. So if one part of the body has an infection and it is extremely harmful to the rest of your body and there's no other way to stop the spread, amputation is necessary of the entire region so that it does not spread. Tumors. If a tumor can get into certain systems of your body, it will be able to spread through the entire body. So through lymph nodes and stuff, it gets into the bloodstream and spreads. So on our timeline, we start with the ancient Egyptians. Back in Egypt, we have found one prosthetic in a tomb. It is attached to a mummy, and it is its right big toe. It was not usually used for like functional purposes. It was generally just to make sure that they had something to go into the afterlife with so that it looked, you know, like they had a limb, because that's what they believed happened when you died, you go to the afterlife. Um, in the 1520s to 1540s France, a guy named Paré introduces new amputation techniques and improves prosthetics by making things like the adjustable harness and knee lock control. In, in 1696, Pieter Verdun creates the first non-locking below the knee prosthetic. So below the knee would not include the actual knee in the prosthetic, its amputation would be below. Then, James Potts creates a leg with a bendable knee and ankle in the 1800s. During the American Civil War, James Hanger created a leg for himself made from little barrel stabs. He later patented the limb, calling it the Hanger Limb. He started the J.E. Hanger Artificial Limb Company, today known as Hanger Incorporated. This company made the prosthetic tail for Winter the Dolphin, featured in Dolphin Tail. In 1912, the Disordered Brothers created the first Duralumin prosthetic. Duralumin, as you'll see on your vocabulary sheet, is an aluminum alloy that is used in airplane manufacturing. After World War I, prosthesis production became more effect efficient through the use of the assembly line. Lighter and more functional materials are used after World War II. 